Well, good morning, everybody. Man, what a day yesterday. I finally got the shed delivered. Let's sit here. We're going to have a cup of coffee. Say hi, Shay. Hey, baby girl. I love you. I love my own dog. She's such a good girl. Boy, it's pretty dark in here. Let me turn this light on. Maybe that's a little bit better. What you think, little girl? Did you sleep good? Turned the heater on last night. Got a little cold. Overcast yesterday. Rained. Just a nice, just a nice rain. Not too hard. Not too much. Got the shed delivered. Now you can get all this junk put in there. But I've got to leave at 5 o'clock this morning. No, I gotta leave at seven o'clock. Seven seven thirty. I gotta drive down to Lara, Alabama. I've gotta go pick up the toilet. The clinker. Otherwise known as the long drop. I've gotta go down there and pick one up because I broke mine yesterday. What it was and oh what's the name of that damn one? I don't know. There's so many different kinds and brands. C H I N A parts on it broke on the foot pedal. Well, what it is is the inlet for the water on there is uh, was dripping a little bit, so he's filling up the, the bowl probably every few hours, and you had to flush it down there into the gray tank, uh, the black tank, and put too much water. It is to me anyways, because you got to pay for it. So, if you pop that lever on there. Come on, baby girl. What are you doing? What are you looking at me, man? I popped it with my foot. Broke the plastic off on there that actuates that flood lever that goes through in the bowl. And flushes the water and refills it up at the same time on demand kind of thing well it broke and so i was like oh my god not that kind of the two most important things water and you get a heavier long drop the clinker but uh shed was delivered it looks real nice it's metal that thing's sticking up two feet in the air not bad 10 by 16 it's pretty good size i like the color it's white and black trim i think uh the metal building i put up is going to be like that too what's wrong come on you gotta go outside you gotta go bathroom i don't know what she wants she wants something you hungry want some water Want to kick in the butt? Hound dog. Why are you looking at me like that, baby girl? What's wrong? No, mama ain't here. Mama got on a jet plane and flew out of here. I don't blame her. No. She went up to see her son up north and a baby. Her grandson, grandchild. So, we'll see how that works out. I'm sure she was tired. I have to fly into Denver and then up to Portland or Seattle. I don't fly. I'm not going to relinquish any more of my rights to get whatever. It ain't happening. Guess you could say 9 11 was a big change of the Patriot Act and all that junk. But yeah. Well, anyways, you guys take care. Not really going on. I got to get up and drive an hour and a half down, pick it up, hour and a half back. Probably 30 minutes to put it in. Then I'll start packing all that stuff in there. And you know what I got to do? I got to pin that. I've got to pin it to the ground. Because if you come off, if it's 10 feet wide, I have to... 
the runners on the underneath of it. it looks like it's like a four by four it comes in two feet on each side and the runner goes down the center well that's where they put the blocks so i put the blocks on either end of it and had it level and yeah now it's got to be on the runners so they put them on the runners but that leaves two feet on either side that doesn't have any support that makes me a little nervous up here tornado alley so i'm going to when i get back after putting the, the commode in I'm going to get four cap blocks, put them on each corner, they run a four by four down to the cap block onto the shed, just in case that I have something on there. And then I'm going to pin it to the ground. It makes me kind of nervous. I'm thinking maybe what I'll do is on the corners is I'll run a board across cut that corner then put the cap then put the uh, 4x4 block on there I think that's what I'll do that way I won't have to nail it into the, uh, the shed I mean I will on a Whatever I put underneath there, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Either way, it's got to get pinned to the ground. Because I don't want that thing tipping over. It's going to tip over. It's going to hit my trailer. And that ain't going to happen. Well, anyways. I like to go fishing. I should be fishing right now. What time is it? 4.30? I should be getting ready anyways. I want to go fishing. Well, God bless everybody. Have a blessed day. Don't forget, read your book.